today we are introducing my Paradise Roadshow build. This is a 1971 Iron Man. We've had kicking around the shop for a year. You probably saw a video of us kind of mocking it up before to this uh, point. Because we did a video about it. Did we? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, this is that bike. We decided to keep it and not sell it. Um, and I'm going to be building it for Paradise Roadshow in the end of January. So this is it. We're going to do a um, kind of like a NorCal 70s club bike themed. I've been on ZZ Chop nonstop just looking at different photos. I'm going to do something kind of like outside of my norm. Looks like you're running the same seat and tank as your and bars, right? As your shovel head? The first version of it, yeah. yeah. It's going to be kind of like the little brother to my shovel head. Um, but more clean, less crust. Super clean. Yeah. Super squeaky clean. No, I'm not doing a crusty bike this time not doing a black bike this time i'm going to keep the color under wraps until it's done but um doing something just like a 70s like clean norcal style bike yeah um it's gonna look nice tidy i got the wheel for it upstairs yeah doing something different it's gonna be 19 19 spool up front i'm gonna do this high shoulder in the rear um still figuring out pipes still figuring out little details but yeah. I mean, a lot of you guys have been asking us what's going on with Blue? What's his next bike? And this is it. This is it. To, to fill you guys in on what I've been up to. Because I haven't really decided what I was going to do until recently either. I was kind of up in the air and trying to figure that out. But I decided I wanted to do this. Chase, who won the bike, was nice enough to sell me back my seat and the gas tank. So I stripped the paint off of it and I'm going to start over there. I'm going to have a, a local artist help me do some paint on the tank, too, as well. And um, I know some of you guys commented about our friend winning the raffle and how sus that was. That was not planned. I couldn't have... I don't want my friends to win our raffles. You know, like, yeah. that's not good business for us. That's not... So just so you guys know, we're not trying to, like, fuck anybody over. No. That was a very honest raffle. And of course, people are just going to say that, but, yeah, you know, we're not... We're not trying to make a quick buck or anything. No, exactly. The last thing I want to do is, like, give my friends free stuff like that, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'd be like if I entered Yama's raffle and won. It's like, that's a bad look for everyone. You yeah, know? that's not what we want to do. No. Are you doing covered shocks? No, I don't like the spring shocks. Really? I like the spring shocks. Personally. Weird. Okay. I know everyone likes the covered shocks. I'm just... NorCal style, dude. Covered shocks. They all had spring shocks. Do they? Oh, weird. We'll, we'll watch some videos tonight. I'll okay. Yeah, okay. I'll have spring shots. But um, you know what? Another thing. Look at I'm... these grips. You just got these grips, huh? Yeah, I got those at Hunter's Point Swap. Shout out, Rick. Thank you, Rick, for the swap meet this Thank last weekend. Great, that was so cool. That was great. I had a blast. I'll put some uh, footage of the ride, Sonny Anderson's ride. Um, the day before, we met a few of uh, the subscribers, which was cool. Yeah, that was really cool to yeah. meet you guys in person. That was great. It was cool to do some riding. Thanks, uh, thanks to everyone that came out to that. Um, but what I was going to say is I got the Hummer Tank Sportster idea from the Australian boys. They're, I don't know their actual names, but they're, I know their Instagrams, and they all have Hummer Tanks on early Sportsters. What's their Instagram? Hope you're well. Drop dead skeg. Um, what's Nico's? Disputed champ. I know you've been sending me the same three. Over yeah, and over. maybe we'll put in photos of the of we, their bikes. We should. I would love to shout them out. Yeah, I love the and I like asked them a million questions and they, they did like squeaky clean. You know, theirs are earlier. They had the nine hundred CC ones, but that's where I was like, oh, I got to do one of those. I think this is nine hundred. It's a thousand. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh. But yeah, gonna do this thing, high and tight. Like I like them. No foot pegs as usual. Yeah, it's going to look nice. It's going to be kind of like similar to Joey's bike, but different. No, it's not going to be a similar stance. Yeah. It's going to be kind of just like skinny, high, and tight. Yeah. Um, Sweet. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to put a layer of last layer of primer on this thing before I go by my colors. And then, yeah. I'll follow, my I'll follow you. We also, uh, we ended up 
They actually ended up selling that Sportster project, that last video that we made on the Sportster project, to one of you guys. Um, we figured, Indeed. yeah, this that weekend. Yeah, so we figured it was gonna be a little bit more of a project than we wanted to get into right now. We have so much stuff to, going on right now, so there was no way we were gonna be able to rebuild a whole nother Sportster right now. So thank you, dude, for picking that up. It was really cool, but let's get back. Isn't that such a nice bungee cord? Hmm? I love those bungee cords. Yeah, I love the adjustable height. This is our state of the art paint booth. Yeah, this is our paint booth. <laughs> oh. There it is. Custom, you know? C U S T O M. K U S T O M. I'm gonna do a little B-roll of this. What is a state-of-the-art painting right here? This is uh, some backyard boogie shit. Mask up. Sorry. Don't do what we do. <laughs> no, I look like a tiger. <laughs> you are, right? Uh, I'm a reformed tiger. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get out here because you're spraying towards me now. Oh, sorry. All right. all right, I just put all the primer on this thing. Good, pretty, pretty good. I emptied basically a whole can on here. So we should be doing all right. I think later today, I'm gonna go buy the color for this thing. I think I'm gonna keep the color under wraps until we're done. But yeah, and this is it right here. You ready? Are we on? Yeah. You're gonna... Good. No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Ozzy Moto. <laughs> We're back. Welcome back to Ozzy Moto. Today, should we do a welcome back? Is this going to be the same video? I think it's going to be the same video, but it's okay. It's a different day. Different day. What's up guys? Today I am, I primered this thing. I put a whole can of primer on it. Um, I'm using some Scotch-Brite and some Simple Green to knock it down and make it smooth. I'm using my flannel because we're professionals. <laughs> um, so, so that's funny that you said that because I was just about to say, we're not professionals. We're experts. 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 Um, yeah, no, I just, I didn't want to put it on this thing. Um, but yeah, I knocked it down so it's smooth I, to the touch, so that way when I put paint down, and I found my colors. Oh, you're going to show them? Yeah, I'm going to show them. All I right. figure I should. Yeah. We, we do too much secret stuff. Secret stuff. So this is the color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. That's not it. This is it. It's called Himalaya. It's like a light-ish blue. We're going to try it out. What's your name? Perry. <laughs> <laughs> so blue's finally doing a blue bike i'm finally doing a blue bike i've never done one i've avoided it my whole life i've had two over two dozen bikes and i've never had a blue bike actually i had one for like a month and a half but it wasn't my bike i owned it and sold it anyways <laughs> this is the first time i'm building a bike on that's blue on purpose so i decided on this color because i really like it and then we're gonna do uh blue with like cream accents um my friend and local artist spooky orbison is gonna do the, the paint on here and some pinstriping i'm gonna match the fender as well i'll pull that off today and get that done but um 
Yeah, I'm gonna put some paint on this thing. Just Hell yeah. Fix. Hopefully it turns out cool on camera. Cause these colors look pretty similar right now <laughs> to, to the gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Sick. We'll, we'll fill you in as we, uh, as blue paints. Blue, what'd you do? My tank. That's the color. Are you doing these grips? I don't know yet. I bought those at the New Point Swap Meet. Shout out Pretty Ricky. Um, uh, you just glue that? JB Weld. JB Weld, dog? Damn, that's a cool little knickknack. Paddy whack. Um, yeah, I got these grips at that swap. And, uh, it's cool, homie. <laughs> Are those your new work pants? <laughs> I, I bought these and I was like, these aren't going to be work pants. And then, like everything else I own, they end up being work. That's my whole life. I'm sure you get it more than anyone else, you know? I sure do. Uh, it's a vintage pin. For those who don't know, well, no one knows, but I collect enamel pins. So I'm stoked that that's going to go. Should out. we make some enamel pins? No. Nah. Maybe. You do, do you guys want enamel pins? Let us know. Should we tell them about the big news? No. Nah. The big news is I found, I decided on the color. <laughs> <laughs> I made a decision, which is the biggest news of all. <laughs> Looks uh, pretty good. Let us know in the comments, should Blue paint the frame? I think you should. I'm not gonna, I don't care if I should, I'm not going to. <laughs> I think it would, it would look good. It'd look way better. If you're doing like a clean bike. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what, pause it. I'm gonna bolt this up real quick. Pretend. YouTube it's magic. It's done. But it ain't stopped. River. Murph. Murph. River. I really wish we could put a magneto on this thing. Take out the battery box. Now I'm going to run a rawhide's ignition. Yeah, we are. Shout out rawhide. What do you got? Fender. Looks like you're wearing all blue as well today to match your bike. <laughs> that was not on purpose. <laughs> what are we doing? Just a little mock up. <laughs> this is the continuation of the last video that we took the other day. Throw this out so I can speak properly. Um, we're checking the color on the bike. I'm trying to avoid the words mock up now. Why? That's our thing. It shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you mocked up the pipes. Oh yeah, the XLR pipes. They look pretty good. Where'd you get them? If you they're they're to... actually from Gasbox. I'll shout out that guy. Yeah, I, I like to shout dude. out Gasbox, yeah. I, I got my little pipe thing, the muffler tip, the WRTT muffler tip from Gas Box. You got the tip from Gas Box? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the internet, dude. Is that Mike? Mm-hmm. Mikey! I like wearing hoodies because they're like built-in aprons. They're the best. Mm -hmm. We got exciting things in the works, as as we're we have saying. Something very big coming for the first of the year. First of the year. That's all we're gonna say. Put your uh, put it on your calendars. Mark your calendars. <clears throat> tell your mom. Call your dad. 
make up with your step uncle, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Some new merch, right? New merchandise, brand new website. A lot of stuff. Big things. So we've been quiet, but we've been working on stuff. Sticker packs, t-shirts, maybe a hoodie? Definitely a hoodie. I'm it's winter. bragging about how hoodies are the best. We gotta make a hoodie. It's winter. It's winter, yeah. Swinter. Well, while Blue's doing that, I guess I'll fill you guys in on the 45. So this is what it's looking like. I'm literally just waiting on parts to come in. But I made the, uh, the little number plaques. Um, this is just zip tied on, so I have to mount that up. And then I put some springs on the seat. And... Uh, Painted the, the pipe, the exhaust, the headers. So I'm just waiting on parts to come in. They should be coming in this week. And then the next video will be all about the 45. But for now, we're doing stuff on this bike for your Paradise Roadshow. Did I explain Roadshow. what I'm doing with paint in this? Yeah. Well, you kind of did before, right? Did I? Yeah. I don't remember. I say a lot of things. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Um, we're gonna... I'm gonna have a local artist whose Instagram name is Spooky Orbison. Um, she's a sign painter and just kind of an all-around great, talented artist. And she's gonna do some paint on this for me. She's gonna do some pinstriping on the sides and some flowers and pinstriping on the fender to match. Um, like I said before, this is like a NorCal style sportster, so I wanted to like hire a local artist to help with this, to really pay homage to the city that we live in. Um, so I'm stoked to have her do that. She uh, she gets back later this week and we'll start get cracking on this. I don't know what color the pinstriping's gonna be. We're gonna try, try out a different colors on a different swatches and see what looks best, but I'm excited. It's not gonna be plain blue, which is cool. Yeah. And I, it, I'm gonna uh, clear it after, so it'll be like high gloss. Oh, and then I got this guy. I think you kind of showed that, but let's... Did I? Let's talk about it. It's a DC linker. It's a DC 10. I think they came stock because these are technically period correct. Really? Yeah. I was talking to um, Nick from Australia about it. He was, everyone that has talked to me about these carbs have had negative things to say. <laughs> Do any of you guys have experience with these carburetors? If you do, let us know. Well, I feel like that's enough for this video. We've got quite a bit of us just standing around talking. So enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, the next video will be updating the 45 flathead trog project. Um, the race gentleman just reposted it, which was so cool. Thank you, Mel. Uh, I think Eric, Mr. Pixelhead might be coming here at some point and doing some kind of interview about this bike. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned. We got some big news. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Oof. Styling. Oof. Sketchy. Sketchy. Sketchy.